you just finished your Illinois concealed carry class. Congratulations. Hopefully you went to a firearms instructor who not only engaged your mind by educating you properly, but also engaged your body and made it hurt. And they got you to exercise muscles that you may or may not have used as firearms usage in a real life deadly threatening encounter is very dynamic and physically demanding. Now comes the task of applying for your Illinois concealed carry license. But before you do so, it's important that I alert you to one thing that could greatly stall your timeliness in receiving your Illinois concealed carry license, matters concerning your criminal record. Hi, I'm Instructor Mike. You can follow me on Facebook at Mike Brown or Instructor Mike on Instagram at Yes Mike Said It or subscribe to my YouTube page, Instructor Mike. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. All right, so let's not delay. Let's get to it. First, if you have a criminal record, it is important that you pay attention to the following information as you may not be aware of the specifics of your case and how it was disposed of or adjudicated. As a former adjunct criminal justice professional, a former police officer, I've educated persons in matters concerning the criminal justice system and I find it how troubling it is that the public education of our criminal justice system is not mandatory. So let me educate you about the process, the pitfalls, and how this could affect you when applying for your license. When you apply for your Illinois Concealed Carry License, a series of questions will be asked of you regarding your background. You're gonna have to agree to allow the Illinois State Police to access that background and hold them harmless from any inquiries or actions that could result from said inquiry. In other words, if that inquiry causes you trouble, you can't do anything about it from the Illinois State Police. You also have to provide a 10-year address history listing the cities or counties where you resided during those times. Now, the Illinois Concealed Carry Act charges the Illinois State Police with the duty to administer the provisions and enforce the provisions of the Illinois Concealed Carry Act. By law, the state police has between 90 to 120 days to approve Illinois Concealed Carry licenses. Now, that's a whole other video talking about the timeliness, and I'm not going to digress. That's too much. When you submit your application, the Illinois State Police within 30 days will allow law enforcement agencies within the cities and counties where you've lived to be notified of your intent to receive an Illinois Concealed Carry License. And these agencies are allowed to object to your application and provide reasoning by the preponderance of the evidence that you pose a risk to yourself or to the public, some kind of danger. Now, the preponderance of the evidence is a very low standard in civil law, unlike proof beyond a reasonable doubt that is a higher standard in criminal law. The preponderance of the evidence means that a person or an entity on whom the burden rests to provide that proof shows that or they are able to show that it is more likely than not about a 51% standard that you pose a risk or a danger to yourself and or others. It's a very low burden, but it's still a burden. Now, when they begin to look into your background, they will look at arrest and or convictions, of course, depending upon what city or county you live in. And during those 10 years, if you live in Cook County, please believe they will look at both. OK, now, if there's anything in your record that they believe shows you to be a risk to the public or yourself, they will object to the issuance of your Illinois concealed carry license and such objection will put you under board review. The Illinois Concealed Carry Licensing Review Board is established pursuant to the Illinois Concealed Carry Act, Chapter 430, Illinois Compiled Statutes Act 66, made up of former judges, medical professionals, psychologists, law enforcement professionals, and they will take into consideration the evidence provided by that law enforcement agency. And during a period of waiting, or after a period of waiting, they will provide you the opportunity yeah. to respond. I'm not convinced. Scam. <laughs> I'm not convinced. Here we go. Make me believe that you all want to survive. You want to survive? Say yes. Yes. You want to survive? Say yes. Yes. Do it. In my experience, as a business owner of a major security and firearms training center in Chicago, we've seen the results of persons placed under board review. Some of the results were bona fide. Others, sad to say, show that these law enforcement officers who were tasked with the duty of record research showed shoddy worksmanship at best. For example, I, a black man with a very common name, 
was said to have been arrested for possession of a firearm in violation of the Firearm Owners Identification Card Act, where, upon my review of the date and time of the alleged arrest, I was an active police officer with a valid FOIA card, had never been arrested, and the man in question was white. <laughs> I took a picture with my application and last I checked, I'm a black guy and have a rather evening hue about me. Hmm. That said, before you apply for your Illinois Concealed Carry License, no one knows your background better than you. You may have been arrested and not convicted or arrested and convicted. So allow me to explain the two. An arrest means that you were formally charged with a violation of a law, regardless of the manner in which you were arrested. In other words, it doesn't matter if you were handcuffed and taken to the station, if the police had possession of your body, they told you that you were arrested and fingerprinted you for a violation of a law, you were arrested. However, a conviction means that you were convicted of an offense, a violation of a law, either by a jury or a judge. I know, I know, I know. But Mike, I got supervision. I didn't have to do any jail time. Conviction. But Mike, I pled guilty. Conviction. But Mike, I only had to do community service. I know. Conviction. You get it? It doesn't matter what sentence you had or what it was. If you heard the word guilty, you were convicted. Now, if in case the case is on your rap sheet and you have heard the term nali prosequi or the abbreviations SOL, this simply means that the prosecuting agency or attorney has either decided not to prosecute you in the criminal matter for which you were arrested or in the case of the abbreviations SOL, those abbreviations mean the criminal matter for which you were arrested was stricken on leave to reinstate, simply meaning that the state or prosecuting attorney, given that there was a demand for trial by the defense attorney or the defendant, has 180 days to reinstate the charges and that until then, the matter is stricken from the court call. Neither of these are a conviction. It is ever more important that before you apply for your Illinois concealed carry license, you get these matters expunged from your Illinois criminal record. If you are unsure what may be on your record, please visit an Illinois licensed fingerprint vendor and submit yourself to fingerprinting to receive your Illinois rap sheet from the Illinois State Police Bureau of Identification. This rap sheet will let you know what is on the record at the Central House for all criminal records in the state of Illinois, the Illinois State Police Bureau of Identification. Failure to get these non-conviction arrests expunged from your background will expose you to unnecessary delay by your placement of your application under board review, meaning that you will be waiting for quite some time until the Concealed Carry Licensing Review Board gets to your application, reviews your application, and allows you the opportunity to respond to the objection. The response to the objection is very important, as is the documentation that you will need to provide the board. Now, save yourself the headache get the matters expunged. It will not only just help you in applying for your Illinois Concealed Carry License, it will help you for life. This is Instructor Mike, and you've been trained. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook at Mike Brown or Instructor Mike, on Instagram at Yes Mike Said It, or subscribe to my YouTube page, Instructor Mike. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell for notifications. Look, get in someone's Concealed Carry class if you have not already done so and urge that someone else does the same. Self-protection is your responsibility. Stop giving other people the job of protecting you. Take care.